This is a brief introduction into Aviva plate and bar nesting. This new application is produced using the E3D style of user interface found in Aviva's current range of products, which standardizes and enhances the way that users control these tools. The application combines and standardizes the separate plate, nesting and bar nesting capability found in Aviva Marine, streamlining the process used to create the cutting information for parts. The application also integrates with ERM so that raw material and the part production process can be fed back into the project control process. The automatic nesting process that was previously available as an add-on product is now directly integrated into the application. As a standalone application, which processes Aviva's manufacturing databases, the future is laid for this tool to process parts from other fabrication applications the application implements the same range of plate nesting features as found in Aviva Marine, but these are now much easier to be used and ready to be enhanced in forthcoming updates. So, coming up. So first we'll have a look at the application layout, and then we'll move on to plate nesting. In this area, we'll have a look at creating single nests using the manual and the automatic tools. Then we'll have a look at creating multiple plate nests using the automatic tools. This may be used for pre-nesting. Then we'll create some NC output and the sketch reports. We'll have a look at the reviewing tools, uh, modify some of the nesting information, and then have a look at rest plates. So let's start to look at the application. The nesting application has a 3D interface like many other E3D applications. Here we can drag in parts from the Manufacturing Explorer, which are displayed as 2D projections into 3D space. This assists us select the right parts if we are looking at particular locations to nest. So let's create a new nest. Uh, the new form has a very similar configuration to the older application, but now we can create both plate and bar nesting. We can also use custom material, selecting dimensions and quality. When choosing material stock, we can collect that from the entire project or specific work packages. We can select our thickness of material and see the plates that we've allocated to the project. Once a new nest is available, we can drag our parts in from the Manufacturing Explorer. This creates a collection in the pane on the right. We can browse through the different thicknesses and qualities available. Uh, going down we can see all of the part shapes, their names, uh, how much space they take up in the plate itself and the different bevels involved on the edge cuts. So let's create a manual single nest. We can drag and drop the parts we can then select on them, pick them up, move them around, and perform rotations. We can also bump them, as was the style in the old nesting application. Some parts we might not be able to nest. There may be some restrictions, such as size or the burner capability. Once we've collected our major parts, we can add further parts through automatic nesting. Now we'll have a look at multi-plate nesting. Here we first select the material we're going to collect, the burner, and we can add the number of plates that we want to put into this multi-plate nest, and we get an indication of the amount of project material we're currently capturing. Then we let it run, it automates the nests in parallel, and then we get an indication each of the nests that we have produced during that process. Now let's go on to make some actual nesting outputs. We could start by adding some starts, either manually, or we could do that using the typical E3D user interface. We could add all, and we could go on to add some bridges, corner loops, and gaps that are also there available in there. So we'll create some nesting data, and then we'll produce the report associated with that nest. Then we could review the nest. 
So we can have a look at the start sequence. We can also start to change this sequence if we were unhappy with it. We can also highlight some of the parts in terms of their assembly level, uh, repeated part names, or whether we have any issues such as overlapping parts. We can make some modifications, such as starting to tidy up some of the text. Here we, at part level we can modify the position and the rotation of these pieces of information. We can also easily create some worst plates. This is a typical one-click action which captures the plate and we can see that that is now added into the available material for the project. Now we'll have a look at bar nesting. Much like plate nesting, again we choose the burner and the material we're going to work with. And now we have a bar nest to work with. We can drag and drop again from the right hand side of the screen. Now we'll do something very similar but for multiple nests. So here, similar to the plate nest, we choose the bar and the number of elements that we want to work with. And we press to go and then we'll automatically generate those nests. You can see each one's on the screen at once. Of course, we'll also get a report. So that was a very quick overview of Aviva plate and bar nesting.